is me. My name's Lara, and I'm a 23-year-old graduate student. In the spring of 2010, I enrolled in a course on young adult literature. Travel back through time five months. That's me signing up. Zoom forward. That's the first day. And zoom forward a little more, and I've actually read some young adult novels. And that's when the question started. What is young adult literature? Who reads young adult literature? How can I incorporate young adult literature into my classroom? But the question that loomed largest in my mind and wouldn't leave me alone was this one. How am I going to choose young adult literature for my students that they'll like and be able to respond to? Or, put a little more eloquently and all-encompassing, how does the immediacy and intimacy of living the YA experience shape reader response to books? And how can we, as pre-service and in-service teachers, learn the empathy and perspective taking necessary to choose appropriate YA novels for both teaching and independent reading? Ah! It's freak out time. Through my ALP, I discovered what I now believe to be an essential truth about books, schools, teen readers, and reader response. Are you ready? This is an epiphany moment. It doesn't matter if a student likes or dislikes a book, as long as they can respond, react to, interact with, and create with a book. How did I figure this one out? It all started with the book The Schwa Was Here by, by Neil Schusterman. This book's about a kid named Calvin Schwa. He's basically invisible, not literally, just figuratively. He befriends Auntie, the narrator, and they both have to deal with some life issues along the way. Middle child syndrome, divorce, separation, blindness, learning how to make something of yourself, disappearing mothers in love. As an adult reading this, these themes stand out clearly to me. I can relate, I can respond, I can create with the book. But how will teen readers react? Bring in the ninth graders. To test my hypothesis, I worked with Eric Brewer's ninth grade honors English class. Together, we responded to the book and created a collaborative response to The Schwa Was Here using the Web 2.0 tool VoiceThread. The results were spectacular. Although many of the students felt indifferent towards the book, I discovered through a survey using SurveyMonkey that only 14 of the 19 who completed the survey felt somewhat positive feelings for the book. Nearly all the students had some sort of per personal connection to the text. I feel like I'm kind of the anti-schwa. I can't be unnoticed usually. That's not to say people notice me all the time, I just feel like I get noticed more often than other people. I do relate to Kelvin, however, in that people don't really listen to me when I need them to, which is infuriating when I'm doing group work and have a good idea. Right now, it's not as bad as it was in middle school for either issue. Isn't it strange how in middle school, I was noticed more and listened to less? Excellent job. Not only noticing trends in her own life, but relating those trends to the book. I can relate mostly to Ansi. He has two other siblings that accomplished more than he has, so he's sometimes overlooked. I have two older brothers that have done basically everything, and even though they don't want it to be that way, I'm sometimes overlooked when they're around me. I know how the schwa felt. In middle school, I felt invisible. I would sit down and do my work, never being noticed until I spoke. And even then, I would have to nudge someone to get their attention. It can be a sad life and a lonely life, but just as Calvin did, I made friends that made me feel important. I had crushes, or a crush to be more specific, and he only saw me as a quiet smart girl. Halfway through second semester, he still didn't realize I was in three of his six classes. I felt invisible, and I was invisible. Heartbreaking. But they're making connections, and that's what's exciting. Regardless of whether a student likes or dislikes a text, the most important part of reading in an English classroom is for students to realize that they can and will interact with the text to create meaning.